Hey, what is going on, guys? My name is Eric Pavlov, and uh, today I'm making this tutorial all over again. Um, you guys might remember this tutorial: how to f to fix FSX fader errors. Um, <clears throat> well, basically, I got a lot of hate. Oh, well, not that much hate. Uh, see this one? You sound like a pedophile. Like I'm 14, bro. Um. Uh, there's <clears throat> there's a lot of hate coming out of this video and stuff like that, but you know, I, I never paid attention to it. I just let it go go and it got five thousand views. <clears throat> Sorry, the voice cracks are like crazy these days. All right, so I'm gonna remake this whole tutorial, and this time I'm gonna make it understandable. Okay, so first thing you wanna do is open up. You go your Google Chrome media whatever whatever browser you use. Open it up and go to this website. Now I will put a link in the description of the direct download link, okay? I won't make you go through this. And this guy actually provided you with a link that's very trustable. Um I remember I used this this website, I don't I don't even remember what it was. Um Robin Line, yeah, whatever. Um and uh, you go to this guy's website. Well, it's like a see, it's a Microsoft website, Windows Live. Um, and right here, it gives you the name of the, your download file. It's the same exact one that I used to put. And um, just come right here to the side and hit download. Now, guys, I will put a link in the description of this link right here to this page, not to the forums. Okay. Um, no, that's that's just your computer informing you. The type of files like that can harm your computer, but this one is okay. Trust me, I already downloaded, I already downloaded it before. <clears throat> so, um, if you have Windows Seven, you know, like I said in my last video, I'm assuming you do because this vi this this problem works for Windows Seven. I'm not sure about Windows Vista because I've not played FSX on Windows Vista, um, but. Go go online and stuff. Go check if there is one. Um, I'm sorry, guys, if I can't provide you with that that help right there. Um, so basically, um, people usually go to their downloads like right here and stuff. Look for it. Man, I do it the fast way. I just come right here and just drag it into my desktop. Easy as that. So your files safely on your desktop. Now you want to go to your computer. You want to go to your C drive, which is a hard drive. Go to Program Files x86, not Program Files, Program Files x86. That's where your FSX main folder is located. Okay, now go down and you should see Microsoft Games, which is right here. Make this full screen so you guys can see. Um, open that up and um. I have FSX 2004 and stuff like that. So you want to open up Microsoft Flight Simulator X. And here it is. This is your main folder where everything is located. Okay. So basically you want to put this to the side. And uh, see this file right here. Basically um, you basically just want to drag it in there like nothing. Um, you just drag it in there. And I already have mines in there. I will just move and replace so you guys can see. Just pretty much drag it in there, and it will be in your FSX folder. Now, if um, this will not complete all the fader errors. If you're on multiplayer, and the connection is really bad, and stuff like that, your FSX will crash. Um, this this fix is for single player, so you could fly for like 10,000 10, hours in single player. Um, if that, you know. So yeah. Um, another thing, if your graphics card or your CPU is running really hot, your FSX will crash. Um, stuff like that that will harm your computer, your FSX will prevent, like, will help your computer out and shut itself down. Okay? Um, so basically that's all I wanted to do today for this video. And, um, guys, please, see how my voice sounds very different? I do not have a code in this video. I did in my last video. I was about, you know... I was younger in this video, and um, please do not, you know, 
I'm not saying that don't hate on it, you know, because I know YouTube is like that. YouTube, there's always going to be one person who would, would hate. Um, so basically, that's it. And um, when this video comes out, a couple of days, a couple of days after that, uh, I just got tongue twisted there. Um, see, guys, I'm working on a new video. Um, my graphics card should be in by next week. And uh, so, yeah, pretty much thank you for watching, guys. And uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button and help me out a lot. All right, thank you, guys.